Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the second video of my experience with my first iPhone, or my first Apple product, rather. As you can see, the quality of this video is a little bit better because the previous one I recorded on my webcam and I actually recorded this one on my Sony A7R with a um, 1635 G Master lens. So there's the quality difference for you. Anyway, um, I got my two phones here. This is my iPhone and this is my old HTC 10. And I've been using my iPhone for, well, a week and a half, two weeks now. <clears throat> and I gotta say, I quite like it. I finally get why people are all obsessed about the whole Apple thing and why they say they'll never want anything else. Like, I, I finally get it now. Um, one thing that's, that's the first difference is it's just a less cluttered experience. So I'll just pull up both screens. So if, if I have my home screen, it's just a bunch of, bunch of icons and that's it. There's, there's nothing going on up here. And I can, I can pull down my notifications and I still, I still got my notifications here, but it's not all cluttered up in here. So every time I open up my phone, it's a nice uh, calm experience, if you will. And whether it's on my Android, like my my top bar and and if you ever owned one of these android phones you'll you'll notice too like it just fills up and it and it and it um yeah it's just just a mess up there and that's you know it it sounds like maybe a silly thing to to see as a negative point but i like the less cluttered experience and um, yeah, as you can see, like the way the notifications are, there's like a million of them, and it's it, it adds up, you know. And, and I don't know you can turn them off, and and I do, but it's it's somehow a more messy experience than what Apple does with their um, notifications. Like it, it groups them in a smart way, and I I quite like that. <clears throat> the biggest difference, however, has been the performance. I feel like this iPhone is the first phone I've owned till date, to date. It's the first phone I've owned to date that could keep up with me. And I know that sounds kind of silly, but it's it's true. It's it's the first phone where that hasn't left me frustrated with being slow. Like if I if I unlock this one, it like uh, see. It, Two a couple seconds. I mean, it's not it's not horrible, but it's not great. And if you scroll, there's there's it, it feels like there's you know, like a all right back to the home screen. See, like it's it's still stuck there. Oh, and I need to reload the yeah. There you go. There are my icons again. So you know it's 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 loading the apps now, and it's yeah it's it's a slow experience. And remember, this this was a flagship phone when it came out and sure it's not a fair comparison because this phone came out four or five years ago and this one came out like not even half a year ago so it's not a fair comparison fine I get that but <clears throat> back when this HTC 10 came out there was the iPhone 6 and like I said in the previous video my friends were not having the same performance issues that I had with this one after a month or so. And sure, I don't know if they installed as many apps as I did, but they didn't have the same problem that I did. And again with this one, I've, I've installed a ton of apps on it and it doesn't matter which one I open, like it's, it's like click, boom, it's open. Like my, my navigation, boom, it's there. It doesn't matter what I do, it's just, everything is instant. It's and that's, I quite like that. <clears throat> and in terms of interface, it's different for sure. Um, I had to get used to not having the, the buttons on the, in the bottom. Like you got, an Android has the back button, the home button slash fingerprint reader, and the um, app switch, like the alt tab of phones, if you will. So if you press this, you get your list of apps that are open. And that's how you do it. Well, the iPhone has a gesture-based interface. So 
uh, you, you want to close something down, you just swipe it up and then you're there. And if you swipe it up and hold it, you get a bunch, you get your previous app history. And if you can see it, you get your app history and that's how you choose which app you want to use and you can close them down. And one thing I also figured out that I just find absolutely brilliant is if you open up an app and then you open up another app, let's open up the clock, you can just switch between all your apps by just swiping across the across the bottom and, and I quite like that, that's really smart and again it doesn't matter how many apps I have open it just never feels slow like whatever I do and I'm, I'm pretty amazed that I can switch from the camera app with which I'm taking a 4k video and then switch to a navigation app and then switch to a browser that has a bunch of tabs open and then switch to well what's another heavy app uh, the maps app whatever so I can have all these heavy apps open at the same time and I switch between them and the phone never lets me wait it's just all instant and it feels very solid it's just very solid it's it's the same with the icons. I quite like the icons too, that they're all the same size and it's a nice, very uniform look. And <clears throat> again, I, I like the custom customization that Android allows, but you know, if you, if you look at these two home screens compared to each other, and it's, it's you know, it's, it's, they're, they're both kind of have the same apps installed and somehow the the iPhone just looks more coherent in terms of style there's you can tell there's a stricter there's somehow stricter guidelines I don't know exactly what it is I'm not a design expert but it um, yeah it has a, just a really nice uniform look to it and one thing I also just really like about this phone is that the, the screen is just absolutely amazing. It's uh, it's an OLED display. <clears throat> it's the first time I had a phone that had an OLED display. I know Samsung and LG have had them for quite some time. But it's my first experience with one and it's really nice and it seems that the colors are also nicely balanced. If I take a photo, the, it looks natural, it doesn't look super oversaturated that I kind of find with the Samsung phones. So that's another that's another plus. Um, face unlock, it works brilliantly, it works better than I thought it would. I, I thought I was going to miss my fingerprint reader because I always would just pick up the phone and like press, pr grab it with my thumb on it and then it would unlock and same with this one, I just pick it up, look at it and boom, it's unlocked. I don't, I don't have to wait for it ever. Almost, almost never. I mean, even recognize me with my sunglasses on, or when I have a beard, or when I have a different haircut. And um, well, a haircut—that's uh, that's bullshit because I haven't had that phone that long. So I, <laughs> I've only tested it with one haircut, but I have tested it with a beard and sunglasses, and a uh, hat for the winter, and it worked. Let's see what else to say. Um, yeah, also pretty smart. The left side pulls down the notifications, right side pulls down your um, all your controls and it works quite well. You just keep the button pressed and you go into deeper menus if you do. And um, yeah, that's, that's uh, I, I like that. It took a little bit of getting used to because the Android, you pull down anywhere from the middle and you get your notifications and if you pull down again, you get all your all your controls and I, I like this part a little bit better in Android because it's more customizable again I can put more things in there and if you if you root your phone and if you install a bunch of extensions you can customize it even more and um, yeah so that's one thing that I like a little bit better about Android but I'm sure I haven't figured out everything yet about this iPhone so um, I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm missing some some little tricks and, and little tricks there that that will offer the same kind of functionality. Let's see what else is there to say. Oh yeah, that's another big one. Uh, Bluetooth devices and Wi-Fi. The connection for those are 
way better than my HTC and, and every Android phone I had before this one. I always had some kind of Bluetooth issue, like they would lose connection, like the Bluetooth in my car seems to work just fine for the very first time. Like it, it doesn't it doesn't drop the connection the whole whole the whole time. <laughs> I, I use my phone every day to to drive to and from work. I use it as a navigation. I use ways to to evade traffic and to slow down when there's speed cameras and I listen to podcasts and music while I do it and, and it just does that just effortlessly. And that's um that's quite nice. Again, the, the thing that I like most so far is the speed of the thing. It's it's just so fast. It never slows down. And, and fair enough, I just had it, so time will tell whether it stays that way. But what I've seen so far, it's the simply the best experience I've had on the phone. I can't say anything else. About the cameras, I as some as some of you might know, I'm a photographer, so I'm I'm big into cameras, and that's. That's why I was also kind of excited about this phone because it has these three cameras that are all pretty good and during the daytime I've been impressed with the quality. I haven't really had the chance to test it out at night but <clears throat> some quick tests seems to produce what's expected but better than expected though. But when in if you have good light the results are really really good and in low light it's still pretty good for a phone it's it's as good as compact cameras from a couple years ago and but it's not as good as DSLR obviously so but I don't think I should be expecting that from from my iPhone you know it's, it's still a tiny tiny camera with a tiny sensor and what it does is already really impressive so camera review will come up to what well, I, I I'm planning on on using I'm planning on using this thing also as a uh, vlog camera like I like to take my Sony mirrorless camera out and go take pictures with it and I will use my phone to film what I'm doing pictures of I kind of walk through what I'm doing I I take all my pictures on manual mode so that might be fun to show my workflow of how that works so I'll be using this as a vlogging camera too soon I'm gonna buy one of those gorilla pods for the for phones so um, yeah we'll see, see how that goes so there's there's more videos coming up for that and um, yeah what, what else can I say it's um, my, my limited two-week experience with this phone <coughs> excuse me has been very positive. It's it's been great. I I just uh, that's the only thing I can say about it. It just feels very solid. Like the little hiccups, the little refresh things that my Android phones always did, and where it sometimes seems to have to load the home screen. It just doesn't do that. It's just there all the time, and it seems to work all the time. And Call quality is great, connection quality is great, and, and you know, fair enough, it should be because it's a really, really expensive phone. I, I still can't believe that I paid this much money for a phone ever. But uh, yeah, here's to hoping that it'll last me at least three to four years. And um, oh yeah, the, the, the widget area, I quite quite like that too. It's it's on one page, and again, it's, it's clean. Like, I, I thought I was going to miss the widgets of my Android because I, uh, you know, had the weather in there and I have my, um, if I press this it'll ID right away and let's see what else did I have. Uh, I don't have a whole lot but I used to, I used to have a um, widget for OneNote as well, my favorite note taking app, but I stopped using that because it was just too slow. That's, that might be a nice comparison, it might be a fun comparison to do. If I start up OneNote on both phones and see how, how long it takes. Let's see. Right. I'll just press them both at the same time. Oh, and here we go. iPhone's done. My HTC is still booting up. Oh, and there it is. Uh, it's not it's not too bad but yeah it's it's still 
slower. It's notably slower. So, yeah, I, I keep repeating myself. It's the, the speed of the experience has make makes it a that much more pleasant experience. So there you have it. I, I guess I'm officially an iPhone hipster now. Achoo! Whoa. If you like this video, also like it on YouTube and also subscribe to my channel and check out the links in the description where you can find my website, where you will find my photography and where you can find my Instagram and my podcast. I'm up to all kinds of stuff. So check out the description below and ring the bell so you get a notification whenever I put up a new video or a podcast. That's it, man. Video number two on a nice camera this time. So thank you for watching. Tot ziens. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>